Hello people, welcome to Gurukla. I am Jai. So today in this video, we are going to see about the topic fixed length subnetting. So now we will see what exactly fixed length subnetting is and why do we need subnetting and all those concepts. So before getting into subnetting, we will have to understand something like as subnets and then the subnet mask. So what are all the subnets and why do we go for subnet? What are all the types of subnets that we have? And what do you exactly mean by subnet mask? So answer all these questions. What is a subnet? So in a bird's eye view, dividing the large address space into smaller blocks of IP address is what we call it as subnet. And then why do we go for subnet? because if a block of IP address are used as such, so millions of IP addresses are wasted. So managing the large IP address block is also very difficult task. So that is why we go for the subnets. Whereas in the previous video, we might have seen what uh, exactly the IP address block will look like and how many IP addresses will be there in an address block. So uh, subnets will help us in a really interesting way to manage the very large address blocks. So that is why we go for subnets. And what are all the types of subnets we have? We have two types of subnets, fixed length subnetting and then variable length subnetting. And whereas this video, we will be talking uh, completely about fixed length subnetting. And whereas in the subsequent videos, we will talk about the variable length subnetting. What is subnet mask? So subnet mask will be discussed in a few slides later or else in the subsequent video slides. As of uh, this particular uh, topic is not required for understanding the fixed length subnetting. So getting into the fixed length subnetting, let us consider with an example. So let us consider an organization and the entire organization is divided into departments and then the sections. So let's take for an example, this is an entire organizational space that we have and this organization is classified into four departments or four sections. So let's take for an example, if this is an engineering section, we will have four departments in it. So let's take for an example, we have ECE, we have Tripoli, we have Mechanical and then CSE. So this departments will be divided into different networks. So dividing an entire college, let us take for an example, this is RMK CET, which is our college. So I'm dividing the entire RMK CET college into four departments, so ECE, Tripoli, Mechanical and then CSE. So first of all, let us try to understand with an example because theoretical perspective will not help us in understanding what exactly fixer length uh, subnetting is. So we will go for with an example. So given an address block, you have been given with an address block starting with 200.1.2.0 and you are expected to divide this uh, address block into two subnets. So what you will have to do is the first and foremost step you will have to identify to which class this address block belongs to and by looking into the first byte it is starting with 200 so with that information I can say that the given address block is class C address. So if I say if it is class C address then we can identify how many number of bits are allocated for network ID and how many number of bits are allocated for host ID. So as far as class C is concerned you will have 24 bits allocated for network ID and you will have 8 bits allocated for host ID. So all these informations can be retrieved from the given address block. Now what we will have to do is the given address space is like this which is running from 200.1.2 which is what we this black part is what we call it as network id which do not to be altered anywhere by altering this particular value will take us to or it will connect us to the different network so in order to keep the network same i should not alter this particular bits so 200.1.2 should not be altered at any point in time and then the host ID, we have 8 bits of host ID running from all zeros to all ones. And for the sake of easier understanding, we can represent that in the decimal fashion also. So that runs from 0 to 255. So here in this case, when it is uh, class fully used, which means I'm using the entire address space. So the network ID will be the first address, which means 
200.1.2.0 that will be my network id and the broadcast id will be the last address of the address block so 200.1.2.255 will be the broadcast address for this particular case is concerned now we are expected to find out or to divide this particular block into two networks which means one bit is required to make two parts from the previous video you might have know how to divide the block by using one bit correct so you will have to divide the address block starting with zero will be one thing so what i will have to do is i will borrow one bit from the host id correct so what we'll have to do we will have we have one complete network here now we are going to divide one complete network into two different subnets which is almost we are dividing into network one we are trying to divide this into network one and then network two we are trying to divide this as net one and then net two so what i will do is i will borrow one bit this thing should not be altered because this altering this will take us to different network so what i will have to do I, I don't want to go for a different network but now i am supposed to divide the given address or the given network into two sub networks so i will have to borrow one bit from the host wide already i have host eight eight bits in the host side so what i will do is i will borrow one bit so what i can do is i can divide this into two halves like this so one half will have the x value equals to 0 and the another half will have x value is equals to 1. So by keeping this into the figure you can see that one subnet will have all zeros in the first bit and then another subnet will have 1 in the next subnet. So what I will have to do the first bit you will have to freeze it as 0. So all the numbers will start from 0 like this. So it starts from 1 like this. So this is what we can call it as this is net 1 and this is net 2, subnet 1 and then subnet 2. So the last address it will uh, runs from, from all zeros to 1, 2, 3 up to all 1s. Yes, and on the other side also keeping 1 as constant it will run from all zeros to all 1 like this. Now putting the first address and the last address you can clearly see that the first address is 200.1.2.0 and 200.1.2.127 will be the last address. By converting this into decimal form you will get 127 and then for the other side also you can see that the first address is the, this is the very first address converting this into decimal I will be getting 128 and converting this into decimal I will be getting 255. So this will be the subnetted part so that since the network is divided into two subnets here then the net ID and broadcast ID will also get deferred. So as far as this subnet is concerned the network ID is 200.1.2.0 that is the very first IP address running here. And then the last IP address is this and this will be the broadcast address for this subnet. And similarly in the second subnet this will be the net ID and this will be the broadcast ID. So now we have divided the given address space into two subnets. So which has 2 to the power of 7 which is 128 addresses in each subnet. So here I will have 128 addresses and here I will have 128 addresses. So that is how we will have to divide. So now what we will do is we will take an another example where we will be dividing. So given the address space you have given the same address space over here and this time you are expected to divide the entire network into four subnets. So how do I divide this into four subnets? First of all class identification it is identified to be class C we have 24 bits for network ID which I should not change and then I have 8 bits for host ID. Now what I will have to do is this is what the given this is what the net ID and then the broadcast ID is. So I think all the viewers must be familiar up to here. So what I will have to do I will have to divide this into four subnets like this. So I will have to borrow two bits from host ID so as to make four subnets. 
so x x value it starts if it is 0 0 then that will be treated as one subnet if it is 0 1 that will be treated as another subnet 1 0 will be treated as another subnet and 1 1 will be treated as another subnet yes so as you can see i am not altering the network id part i am altering only the host id i am borrowing two bits from host id and then depending upon this value i am making the subnet so if xx equal to 0 0 this will be acting as subnet 1 this will be subnet 2 this will be subnet 3 and this will be subnet 4 so that i have classified this into four subnet now we will have to find out what will be the net id and then the broadcast id for each and every subnet is concerned now we will see so this is what you know the first address starts from 00, 0 will be freezed and so that it in the another subnet 0, 01 will be freezed and in another subnet 10 will be freezed and in the last subnet 11 will be freezed so the first subnet runs from all zeros to all one so keeping that the first address will be the net id and the last address will be the broadcast id and similarly the second subnet the first address will be the net id and the last address will be the broadcast id so as you can see i am keeping the 0 1 as constant i am not altering that i am just varying the remaining bits alone so only six bits is being varied from all zeros to all ones and similarly over here you will get like this so next we will go for fixed length exercise one so what i will give is uh, pass this video here and then you can try to solve it by yourself so the first of all it comes for what is the class of the address the class of the address is class c address so in class c address you will have 24 bits for net id and 8 bits for host id so this is what I have and as far as classful addressing this is the net id and this is the broadcast id the very first address will be the net id and then the very last address will be the broadcast id. So you are expected to divide this into 5 networks so how can I divide this into 5 networks so 3 bits are required to make 8 parts let's take for an example if I have 1 bit then that is 2 to the power of 1 will give us 2 networks and then so if i borrow two bits that is two to the power of two i can make four networks and if i take three bits it is two to the power of three which gives me eight networks so dividing exactly by five networks is not possible because in ip addressing you will have to do it everything in powers of two it should be a block one it should be a logical one so dividing the given ip address space exactly to five networks is not possible as far as the uh, fixed length subnetting is concerned so you can divide only as eight number of network so you can make use of five networks and remaining three networks will be kept unused so i will have to divide three so dividing that into three you will have zero zero so running from all zeros to all ones like this so this is what will be my eight subnets which i can divide from the given address space so what I can do is it will start from all zeros I am you can see that I am first network I am keeping all zeros as constant and I am varying only the host ID part the black color represents the host ID part so this will be the first address and this will be the last address so first address will be treated as network ID for network 1 and this will be treated as the broadcast ID for network 1 and similarly the table can be uh, calculated for the remaining networks as well so you can pass the video here and then you can try to solve it by yourself to, uh, just to understand the concept how it works so as of now i'm just revealing the answer one by one you can check your answers for net 2 is concerned i'm keeping 0, 0, 001 as constant and then i'm varying the host id part alone from all zeros to all one so i will end up with 192.168.9.32 which is the network id for the second subnet and 9.63 will be the broadcast id for the second subnet similarly for all other remaining networks we can easily calculate this is a very simple procedure where we will have to find out the first id and then the last id so that is what the only thing which is involved over here 
So likewise, I have now subdivided the given address space into eight subnets. The first subnet you will have, this is the space allocated for the first subnet and then where you can see the net ID will be 9.0 and then the broadcast ID will be 9.31. So this will be the first subnet and then you can see that the given address space is divided into eight subnets as uh, required in the question. So even though I need only five subnets, uh, but still we cannot divide the address into exactly five subnets, we will have to go for eight subnets which is uh, logical subdivisions must be there. So you can take an another exercise. So this time the address space is given as 172.16.0.0 and you are expected to divide this as into three networks. So how do you divide this into three networks? As, as usual, first things first, you will have to identify the class of the given IP address. So here the given IP address is 172. So that belongs to class B. So in class B IP address, you will have 16 bits for network ID and you will have 16 bits for host ID. So you are not uh, supposed to change this particular bit 172.16 should not be altered at any point in time. You will have to borrow as many number of bits required only from the host side. So this is what they given. So network ID is represented it's black in color and the host ID is represented in red in color. So what you will have to do you will have to divide the entire network into three networks or three sub networks. So how many bits do you need to divide the entire network into three networks? So obviously we need two bits whereas you can make four parts. So what I will have to do is I will just borrow two bits from the host ID and then I will divide this into four halves whereas the first uh, quadrant will have 0, 0, second quadrant will have 0, 1, third quadrant will have 1, 1 and last quadrant will have 1, 0. So identifying the first address and then the last address will help me to get what will be the first address and then the last address. So there you can see I am just freezing the colored value. You can observe the first two bits in all the subnets where you can see that I am grouped that into 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and then 1, 1. And also if you can notice one more thing, the IP addresses are continuous in nature. So this is the net ID and this is the broadcast ID. This is as far as net 1 is concerned. And what happens in net 2? This is an immediate next address, right? So after 63.255, it runs to 64.0. That is the immediate next address. You can see that the IP addresses are continuous. We are not shuffling it anywhere. This is also an important property which we will have to understand as far as fixed length subnetting is concerned. So here you can have exercise 3 where uh, the given address space is 192.168.9.0. Here the question is little bit different. So you are expected to divide this into suitable number of networks but this time the question is not given like how many number of networks is required. So you can divide it as many number as possible but the only requirement is you will have to note down or you will have to make a note that each network should handle at least 10 hosts. So how can I divide this? So in each subnet, two addresses are not usable. We very well know that, correct? The first address and then the last address is not usable. So that the total number of addresses required in is 12 IP addresses. So that I will have to calculate that each and every subnet should has at least 12 IP addresses. So 2 to the power what gives 12? This is obviously not possible, correct? So 2 to the power nothing will gives us 12. So 2 to the power 4 gives us 16 addresses. So this is the nearest possible value that we can get. But this time what you have calculated, you have calculated this, correct? So 2 to the power of 4 is what you need and remaining bits can be taken for the subnetting part. So now you know how to subnet by using this particular values, correct? And from now on it is very simple and then it, it can be further continued by keeping the previous problems as an example problem. So if you have any doubts in this particular problem, leave your doubts in the comment section so we will be helping you at any point in time. Yeah, so I am stopping my video here and it's bye from Jai, happy learning.